everyone welcome back to my channel i know this is a different type of view um i'm still setting up my craft space i have stuff everywhere um my old filming um stand that i used for the bird's eye view doesn't really work on this desk so i'm gonna have to get creative somehow um uh but yeah i've just got halloween stuff everywhere because um i did was able to join a swap just because we did finish um our renos earlier than expected um yeah so i just wanted to make a quick video show you guys um a few projects that i'm working on and some cards and whatnot that i've been using scraps on so um without further ado let's jump into this so these scraps here are they're well they're not really scraps they're cut aparts but i didn't know what to do with them um, because I didn't think I was going to be making like a Halloween journal anytime soon. So I did kind of just turn them into cards. So this one, um, is from the Pinkaboo pad, which I do have like right down here. Um, really, really simple. You guys know me and my cards are super easy peasy. Here is another one. Um, the little cut aparts are adorable, but sometimes, you know, it's like you don't know what to do with them. So, um, I made, I feel like three by three-esque types of cards with the sentiments. I love this card. It's a scrap card. I thought it turned out beautifully. And I have so many friends in the U.S. And I'm like, you know, total flat mill friendly. This one here was using like the corrugated, um cards from recollection and i just love it because as you know this pad has so many of those like six by six squares and i just again like they're too pretty i didn't want to cut them down to size or anything so um yeah i thought they'd make really pretty cards so i love this oh my god look at that so cute nothing on the inside yet um, but yeah, the, and this wasn't just done in the last few days. Like I had started these projects, like even before my renos, um, this here, I love this. The back papers are just scraps. Again, um, I didn't care what collections I was just like, okay, pull out all your scraps, all the cut aparts, all the 12 by 12 scrapbooking pages that I didn't think I was ever going to use. Um, but I love the way it turned out. This one here, oh, this one is like a little scene. I love it, but it's really just from um, ephemera pieces that were way too large for me to really work on um, on any of my, my smaller projects. And then these are the puffy stickers from that Hey Pumpkin collection, and I just love that one. This one here is a work in progress, not done. Um, again, it's like a five by seven. These cards are actually the ones from Hobby Lobby. And yeah, again, uh, the femur pieces are super long. And I mean, if you do scrapbook layouts like the 12 by 12, perfect. But I haven't done one of those in a couple years. Um, maybe when my kids are a little older, I don't know. I just, I've been, to, truth be told, I've been doing the photo book thing. Oh, I know it's like totally digital, but it's just so easy. So yeah, oh, here's a blank one I've yet to decorate um and then yeah like i mentioned the um pinkaboo they have so many of these like 12 well the 12 by 12s but like there's four of them so uh yeah i'm gonna probably turn these off i was gonna turn them maybe into like decorative pockets or something i'm not quite sure yet but i i did um cut some like kind of coordinating um just solids to kind of go with it i wasn't sure what i was doing i I don't know. I was just trying to use up things, I guess. So those were kind of the stack of cards. I'm still working on a few more. And like I said, if I have happy mail, if anyone wants to do a card exchange, just um, yeah, hit me up on Instagram, shoot me an email or something like that. And I'd be happy to do even like just a card exchange. I think that's really fun. Um, these um, 8x8 papers that were the um, Frank Garcia 31 collection, um, I just did like a diaper fold with one of them. And again, I've yet to embellish, but I thought, hey, that's something. I just was playing with paper. Um, again, more of these, like I have no idea what to do with them quite yet. They are like, like a lot of like journaling cut-aparts, so... We will see. I will get creative. You know, I throw 
nothing out really, which is a big problem. Um, but I can always, you know, donate, de-stash, whatever. And then I shared this on my Instagram and I'm so embarrassed to say, like, I'm finally like just getting to it. So, um, it is just one of my paper bags that I make with the 12 by 12. Um, yeah, I finally like adhered this Hobby Lobby trim on and then I'm going to start embellishing. I have no idea what, but I think I might use this, um, baggy just to hold the goodies for the, um, swap that West Coast Crafty Babe is hosting. And it might be, I don't know. I don't know yet if it's going to be flat mill friendly or what, but, um, we'll see because sh like... M, if you guys, she's, she's like, so we're mailing stuff. Well, I'm, I'm meeting her. I'm driving over to her place because she's only a couple cities from me. Um, but I'm going to drop off my swap, but she's like collecting everything. And then she's going to do a blind swap and send things out to people. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So I, I'm thinking I'm going to try to make it flat mill friendly for her to send out to whoever receives, um, some of my goodies that will be in the swap. So I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm kind of like, things are up in the air. Um, there's so much stuff to play with because I'm like pulling stuff out. Like I've got a stack of like stamps and just like dies here that I have yet to like play with. And oh my goodness, I just am overwhelmed with happiness because um, there's a lot of goodies to play with. I'm, I would much rather have that problem than not enough goodies. Um, but yeah that's pretty much just my share and like you guys saw I picked up these 12 by 12 like tags I I was like maybe I want to make a tag flip because I do have a couple swaps I don't know like I still have like a few weeks until I gotta start sending things out but like there's just so much ideas there's so many ideas and I feel like there's so little time I actually go I gotta go check up on my son in a little bit here my daughter's in um her nap but I'm like too much stuff to play with so little time to craft anyhow yeah i just wanted to drop by to say hi this is like craziness this is all like that i gotta put away these are like what my inks and distressing stuff and this container here what is that light right there it's like oh it's a reflection from the doily um these are all the smaller dies that i use for the sidekick so and yeah but i'm like definitely need to de-stash because you know you don't realize how much stuff you have until you gotta move and i just move from one area of the house to another area and i'm like holy crap why do i have so much stuff like we're talking like i feel like i have like nine boxes um and that's not including like furniture pieces and like my pegboard. Yeah, a lot of things to put up. And then um, I do have like a craft cabinet now. So my husband put a latch on it. So my son can't get into it and pull all my stuff out. But yeah, I do have everything within reach now. So like my sewing machine, my laptop, um, the Cricut. So I can like just pull things out and I feel like use them. They're more readily accessible compared to like how they were like jammed up before. Um, yeah, I mean, I thought about doing a craft room or area tour but I honestly there's it's like a desk and a cabinet so I, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna bother with that maybe eventually one day when I have um like an entire room again but for now it's there's so many other cool craft rooms out there you guys um anyways I'm getting too like chatty because I miss that adult human content um, so yeah uh it's a long weekend i don't think i'll be making any videos until who knows um until i start finishing more projects to share with you guys and stuff um, so yeah everyone i hope you have at least in north america a lovely lovely labor day long weekend and i wish everyone a happy start to their fall um thanks for watching until next time take care bye